G'day guys, we're off to the Berry Islands today where we've been told about a shipwreck. Yeah, it's actually gonna be a really rough sail, so we're gonna have an early start. We're just getting one last swim in at the beach and then we're heading off, despite the fact that it is rough as guts out there. But we're just so eager to see the shipwreck. And also, I've been given the coordinates to a secret spearfishing spot. Where I'm gonna try and spear a fish, it's been a while, and I know you're probably gonna spear a fish. <laughs> from last week was still wreaking havoc on our mental strength and sleep patterns. But we kept our sanity and sailed on. Shipwrecks and secret spearfishing coordinates aside, escaping from the invisible terrors that were the no see were one reason in itself to leave our previous anchorage. We were en route to the Berry Islands, a full day of sailing in some rather rough weather. We weren't scheduled to arrive until well after the sunset. It's going to drop the dagger board so we can punch into the wind. It was 21 knots consistent earlier, gusting to even up to 25. So we started with two reefs in the main. Now the weather's died down a bit and there were some ugly clouds that were dark and with a lot of elevation, but they've come past us now and there's fairly clear skies ahead. We were gonna wait until the sea state calmed down a bit before we shook out a reef, but um, I actually think that that extra bit of sail will just make the boat feel a lot more comfortable because it's a bit sloppy at the moment. So that's what we're gonna do. Fast now. No, not. How you going, Mr. Darwin? I have come downstairs to take care of Darwin for a bit whilst Elena stays at the helm, because that's a good place to be if you've got a bit of seasickness. So she has sensibly said, Captain, I will take the helm, Captain, my captain. And I'm looking after, he's really happy, aren't you, mate? You wanna say hello? Or well, can you can you at least say ngu ngu <laughs> We got another fish. It's a mahi. Come on guys, we can do this. We're big steady. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep Come, going. On. Come on, we need this mahi. Take out the fish! Take out the fish! Woo! Swing it! Oh! We got a fish! We've got a little mahi, this is going to be delicious. So David's going to fillet that whilst I short sort out this shit storm of a tangled fishing line bird's nest right here. Sarah's knocked us up some vegetarian sausages. Not too bad. I always do that. The sun has set. 
I don't like to turn my AIS on. Uh, we've had a few visitors in the past uh, when we do that, and it can be a little full on, and we're very, very cautious these days about our location, just because of the kids. Still in 12 metres of water, but there's a reef up here and a reef over here as we're headed straight ahead. It's night time, we can't see a thing. Um, and I don't normally do this, but I've been here three times, David's been here a few times, but it almost, on this particular inlet, it doesn't really matter. We're just completely going on um, the GPS, which I really don't like doing. It's taken us a very long time to gear up, but we've finally geared up and we're going... Are we going to try and find the wreck? Yeah. We're going to try and find a shipwreck. And the boys are going on an experience fish, no doubt. Uh, well, we're doing experience fish as well. Yeah, we need food. We need more food. We drove north of the Great Harbour Key Anchorage to the shipwreck we'd spotted on our chart some time ago now and we're dying to explore. At 200 foot long, it had become a stunning living reef, full of areas that had become habitat for a variety of marine life, including sponges, corals, fish, and of course, our good friends, the turtles. this swim through and I had no idea how like long it was going to be really so he went first I went second and when I got down there and saw like how far I had to swim and then David was just chilling like he stopped to wait for rally and I was like I'm not waiting for rally right now I'm going in front so I basically like pushed in front hey and I just yeah. legged it <laughs> yeah I was trying to chase you down yeah I was gone You're in a jiffy <laughs> that was like really long and I wasn't prepared for it I went through it again and it was fine, but the first time I really shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty long. Yeah, I kind of saw it coming, so I see out of the way. So what are we doing now? Uh, we are going to find a good spot for spearfishing because we need to eat. Yeah, we've just come behind this island where it's a bit protected and we'll burn off out here and then just wait for wait till it gets to the right depth for all of us. What's the ideal depth today? What are you feeling? Well, we'll, we'll go, I guess we'll go 15 metres. Result. Dos hogs. Two hogfish. Yeah. Um, apparently you can get ciguatera with hogs around here. So I've got a fish fillet. This is the bastard that gave me ciguatera. Oh, I hope you get better. Two. Ciguatera. Something we most certainly do not want to repeat. Tiny marine microalgae can produce toxins that when eaten by fish concentrate in their organs and flesh. Ciguatoxic fish don't look or taste bad. Yum, yum. 
but if you eat a fish that is contaminated by ciguatera toxin, symptoms often appear within 6 to 24 hours. They include abdominal pain, aching joints, explosions out of sphincters, cramping, nausea, and neurologic symptoms such as tingling fingers and toes. <laughs> so I've actually experienced ciguatera once before and I still suffer from symptoms now. The thing with ciguatera is if you've already had it, if you get it again, the symptoms can be twice as bad. So the plan was to sacrifice one of our crew, not me, who would taste tiny bits of it and we'd wait 24 hours before the rest of us would eat it. You know, aside from that nagging uh, fear, very, 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 very happy. Yeah, so that's... Beautiful, viz, nice. That We had to work hard to find the right ground, but when we did, it all we came together. We found our oasis. Yep. So that was the first dive I've been on for a very, very long you time. You nailed that, man. Oh, thanks. I think after a couple more dives, I'll feel really confident again. But, um... I went down to get a hogfish. Seriously, you killed it. And so I didn't shoot it and I came up to the surface and realised like, that's big, that's big, like go down again and get it. So I went down again to try and get it. Tried to shoot it, it went straight over its head and I just missed it. So I'm really upset, but um, gives me something to do next time. Something to work towards, spearing a fish again. The face of the hogfish is so interesting, so beautiful. It's looked like a coral head, like a yeah. brain coral. Yeah. It's just so gorgeous. <laughs> What are you two doing? <laughs> We're learning how to climb up this, aren't we? Jump to dad. Good boy. And then swim back. Good boy. I did it. <laughs> you did it. I've been dumb. Go back, go back. Go back, go back dad. Go back, dad. We're going to do a big jump. Go <laughs> back, <laughs> That hurt? You did a belly flop. Yes, it did. Ready? <laughs> Swim. I'll go in the water. Mum was gonna go in. The should water. Mum go in the water? Okay, no, you stay there. I'll I'll swim over. One, two, three. Good job. This is my papa. This is Mama. All right, ready? Swim to the line. One, two, three, go. We can't get all the way to the beach from here. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Hello, my men. Hello. Have Say you seen the sunset, Mr. Darwin? He's, I was going to say he was pretty happy at this window, but then he... This baby that went from Mama, this... This baby, this baby done from Mama. Oh, he wants to stay with Dada. Bloody hell, Sarah. She just casually whips up the most amazing looking dinner when we have not much food on the boat. Couldn't have done it without you, literally. You probably wouldn't have left for it yet. I would be back. No I, know. I know you would have more things to do on, bo on board. Yeah. <laughs> See Bye, you later. David. Have fun. More stuff to fix for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. My goodness. Good morning from the sunny Bahamas. This morning we have some glassy weather. Wait, I think my thumb was in the way. It, it, it was, okay. Hang on. Good morning from the sunny Bahamas. This morning, Sarah and I, who's been crewing on board for us for a while now, uh, we're going to take this opportunity while the weather is completely glassy to go out to a shipwreck. It's beautiful, the water is so clear, and we somehow managed to sneak off away from the boys and the babies. So that's what's happening right now before some nasty weather comes tonight.
Thank <laughs> you.